Bayern Munich top of the table. Leipzig uh, second. They're facing your old team, visiting your old team, Eintracht Frankfurt, uh, on Saturday. What's going on with Leipzig? They don't really seem to be missing Timo Werner. Outside of Bayern Munich, they're scoring as many goals as anybody else in the league. Yeah, they don't seem to miss him because uh, we, we thought that, they, they, of course, they will miss his goals. But I think that you will see that when they're playing the best teams, that they, they're missing something. You saw that against Manchester United, easy to say after that big loss. But you saw they didn't have that skill, that weapon in their arsenal when they when they played uh, Manchester United. But Nagelsmann is, is a clever guy. He's, he's found a way to build around him, to, buy, to, to, to build a, a bridge over... The, the, the lack of that uh, skill that Timo Werner's got. Playing Eintracht Frankfurt, they've been uh, struggling a bit, Eintracht Frankfurt, because in much money of the games, teams have played, they've parked the bus against them, and, and Eintracht Frankfurt at the moment not good enough to kind of run games. So maybe this could be a surprise. I, don't, I hope I don't say that only because I got my Eintracht Frankfurt shirt behind me here, as you can <laughs> see. Uh, but it's also in a game that you think that Leipzig will have the ball and there could be surprises with Eintracht Frankfurt that get Kostic back. Kostic has been out for a while. He is back in the team. So hopefully that could be a competitive game also for, for the Frankfurters. Uh, we talk Leipzig. i got to ask you about Upa Meccano. So much on this show we talk about his future destination as potentially being in the Premier League. But in reading some of the German press clippings, it seems like the name Bayern Munich keeps coming up, coming up. And it's being talked about now. Lothar Matthäus talks a lot, but he's one of the guys... Uh, who has said it. Do you think he could actually end up at Bayern and, and not leaving the Bundesliga? Well, when we follow German Bundesliga for many, many years, you always know that the star players, the first thing they will think of, could, could they go to Bayern Munich? Could Bayern Munich uh, take them? They did that with, with Werder Bremen, where they were challengers, just, just took their stars. They did that with the Dortmund players. But football has changed a bit. Uh, and in, in these days, when, uh, when a lot of football clubs around the, the, uh, Europe and especially in England are looking for center half. I think that Upa Pogacano could end up anywhere. I don't think he will go this winter because uh, RB Leipzig got uh, ambitions ambitions of, of their own. So Liverpool desperate looking for a center half. I don't think they will get him in January. He, he got then a, a quite small clause. They are talking about 42 million euro next summer. So maybe next summer will be the same hectic. Uh, summer with Sancho in the headlines and, and Upa Meccano because center half to offer, there are not many of them around, and this is one, one of the best. And Bayern will be there, they will be interested. Uh, they don't give a new contract to Jerome Boateng, so they need a, a young player. I think they hope that Hernandez, uh, their record signing, will do well, Pavard develop into a, to the big player for them. So, but Bayern will, will always be interested in those kind of players playing in Germany. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.